What's up guys, Pepeka22 here, and in this episode I'm going to show you guys where and how to learn the Jabal Sog religion. Um, I think that is how you pronounce it, Jabal Sog, Bal Sog, I'm, I'm not sure, uh, but I think that's it. So, okay, stay tuned guys. Alrighty then guys, so in this episode, as I said, we're going to learn the Jabal Sog religion. So first place that you want to go to is you want to go right over here on the map. Um, what is this? D8. D8. Right in this area, right around here. Close to where the den is. You want to come here. Now you guys should bring five feral flesh per player. Or you can just uh, kill some of the creatures around you, the snakes, and harvest them. They will also give you feral flesh. Then you come and speak to this guy. Come. Come to me. You have nothing to fear of me, human. I am simply lonely as I await my return to the Misty Lands. I would like to talk. Okay, so by this guy you can learn the religion, the Midnight Alchemist, which means you can make the Potion of Midnight at your, uh, call, uh, at your alchemist, alchemist base cauldron thingy mob. So you can make that then, or you can purchase the I potion here, human, until I can return to the misty lands. Okay, so upon purchase, purchasing the midnight potion of potion of the midnight, uh, you should consume that and you will force travel to the midnight groove location. So let's quickly do that. Alrighty, then, guys. So right over here we've got one, two, three gates. That third gate is open because I completed this. That gate only opens upon completion. Okay, see they closed. That means that the um, uh, uh, the bull respawned. That would be your last or your second last boss that you fight. Um, let me quickly see. That door opens as soon as you defeat a greater panther boss. And that, bo that gate opens as soon as you defeat a gorilla, silverback gorilla boss. Uh, no, no, that one. And then this one will open as soon as you defeat the bull. So how this place works is it's, it's got three sections. The first section is a choice between two things. Then you fight a boss. Then the second one is an option between three paths and you fight a boss. And then the last one is an option between two paths and you fight a boss. All these paths lead to the same place. You won't get lost when you stick to going straight. As soon as you turn around and go in another route, you will get lost. In this episode, I'm going to show you guys the exact route that you can take so you don't get lost. And I'll explain it as we go along. So let's run to the first section. We have a choice between two routes and I'll tell you guys what they are. Okay, so here we've got the first choice that we have guys, and that is between the wild boar side and the hyena side. Now, you guys can choose any route you want. These guys aren't that difficult to defeat, but just keep in mind that both, both of these roads lead to the same place. And I'll show you where they intersect with each other, so you don't turn around and go back. So I chose the hyena route and I'm going to run through here and I'm going to skip to the end of this route so I can show you guys where they meet up. Alrighty then guys, as we approach the first boss fight, I'm going to show you guys where the two roads meet that lead to this first boss fight, which is a Greater Panther. Now, this is the route that you would have come out of, or the path that you would have come out of, 
if you chose the wild boar side and this is the hyena side never ever run back just keep going straight so now we'll fight our first boss Okay guys, upon defeating the first boss, this gate will open. That is the gate that you get on your left hand side as soon as you enter. Now, I'm not sure why they would do this unless they wanted you to get confused, run back and then you'll be lost or whatever. Just to make it a bit more challenging. Or you can run back and go through the wild boar side or if you chose the wild boar side the first time, you can go back and do the hyena side. Uh, just for interest sake. Um, but okay. After defeating that, don't go through that, just continue on here and you'll be left with three choices here. Okay guys, so here you have the three choices, going with the bears, going with the Jabalsak people, or going with the panther isle. Now, you can choose anyone, I wouldn't recommend the bears because they're quite tough, but uh, let's just go straight and I'll show you guys again where the roads intersect to, you don't turn around, you keep on going straight to find the direct path in going to um, Jabal himself and learning it his religion. Okay guys, so this is the first intersection that we get and this is, if you ran the panther out, this is where you would come out, this is where you came out when you took the Jabal Sog people's route. Now, I am cloaked, so that's the reason why they don't attack me. Don't come here expecting that nothing will attack you. All of this stuff will attack you. Um, so yeah, that was the first intersection and when we run down here, we'll be met with the bears and that is where they intersect and I'll show you the cave where you would come out if you took the bear route. Now I believe the bear route is shorter but it's more dangerous. Um, right over there when you come out there that is where you will meet them. And now let's go to the next boss which is the silverback gorilla. Okay guys, same thing applies here. You can go through that gate and you can do the others, but if you want to go forth within this realm, you gotta go straight through and go to the next choice that you have. Okay guys, so here you have the choice between the Silverback Gorilla route or the Sabertooth Cat route. This really doesn't matter, you can choose whichever one and I'll go run through it quickly and I'll show you guys where it intersects again. Okay then guys, we are here. So that is where you would have come out if you took the Silverback Gorilla route. And this is where we just came from. So then you run straight over here and I'll tell you now what happens when you get here. Alright guys, so you have to jump in here and you have to defeat that bull. But if you have poison arrows and you stand here, you can actually kill him without falling in there and risking dying at the end of your journey. But if you do so happen to die, you're just basically going to start at the beginning and you can take that route back to the last boss that you fought, um, that uh, um, gate. But anyways guys, that 
claw, you might think that is another route to get here. True and untrue. That thing only is useful once defeated, defeating that. And you can go from the starting area through here, jump in here and fight this guy again. So let's quickly get in here and f kill him. Okay guys, upon defeating him, you can go through that gate now that just opened. So just continue on here and this is the route that you will take to fight Jabal's champion and learn the religion. But before that, let me show you this. Remember I mentioned that you, upon defeating the bull, you'll have another gate. There's the gate that's opened and this is the route that you can take with the claw to jump in by the bull again. Okay, not to get confused, let me stand here where we were. So this is the route that you came from the bull. So just continue straight through here, you'll meet a couple of enemies and then we'll get to where you will defeat Jabal's champion and ultimately learn the religion. Okay guys, so this is it. This is where we're going to fight Jabal's champion. So after defeating him, one key element that you have to do in order to learn this religion is you have to harvest him and eat his meat. If you do not do that and you leave here, you will leave here without learning the religion and won't be able to craft the altars. I made this mistake with a friend of mine and we had to go come back and do everything again. So I'm quickly going to defeat him, take the meat and then we can continue. Okay guys, that's it. So now you basically eat the flesh, you have learned new recipes and that will give you the ability to craft the altar and how you get out of here is basically you just escape down here. And now we will spawn in the city of the relic hunters and that is it guys. This is how you learn this religion. I hope this video was informative and you know exactly what to do when you get there. Uh, please like, follow, subscribe, comment down below what you guys would like to learn next and I'll make a video on it. Thanks for watching. Cheers guys.